Halloween today and we are going to be creating Sims in The Sims 4 to represent different types of death. <laughs> but we won't be creating any regular old Sims, we are going to be creating death fairies. Let's start off with the first kind of death which is going to be the iconic cow plant death. Cow plants in The Sims 4 will stick out their tongues in the form of a very tempting piece of cake. Sims who are hungry enough to eat the cake will in turn learn the consequences and die. They're already starting with the theatrics here today. Hey, if there's gonna be any day to do it, it's gonna be today. <laughs> so we're gonna first off remove our hair, remove our makeup. I will definitely be changing the brows. And I feel like I start off every Sims 4 create a sim video telling you how much CC I recently downloaded the life of a simmer, am I right? But this time it was a ton of fantasy custom content, including this skin detail here, which actually affects the entire body. It's meant for fairies. So you can see all the details on her legs legs and arms on her back. And I also downloaded a few really cool types of eyes. So I'm gonna give this sim, I think some green ones. They already do look a little evil, don't they? We're gonna play around with the eye shape. I'm getting rid of the EA lashes. I'm gonna play with the nose shape a little bit here. And I feel like the story for a lot of these sims is maybe they actually died this way themselves. And now they have been given the task of doing what happened to them onto other sims. I am going to give her the twisted cat skin. The fantasy skin detail is nice because it's under eyeliner so you can actually layer them. And okay, now is where we're really gonna get into it because some of the makeup that I downloaded is so good. I really like this lipstick here, especially with the green around it. That's gonna be perfect. And while we are gonna be going for beautiful, they are fairies, I really wanna lean into the scaries. Oh, like this, for example, that looks cool. She's technically a plant, remember? So I like the green greenery on her face. Oh, there's also this one. And then let me put the lashes on top. I also downloaded these really cool ears. I can see a lot of my sims today having these or like some type of ear like that. I like these ones because they have the piercings. And let me find her some hair. I downloaded a few new ones recently, like this one I really like. The ears might be a bit of a problem with this one though. Ooh, and some of these ones are kind of funky too. Oh, like that is so cute. But I also really like this one on this sim and I have a hat that I have to put on. So it's really gonna come down to if it works with the hat. And you guys are gonna die when you see this. Stop it right now. <laughs> Look at these cow ears, they're so cute. I don't know why they have little like fluffy tissue paper in them, but I don't care. This sim is already adorable. Okay, let's get her an outfit. So I want the outfit to have cow print on it. And I know I have some cow print hidden in some of these. Like I have this dress. I feel like everyone went through like a cow print face for a minute. <laughs> But I did download this skirt specifically for this video. So I'm gonna use that. And what can we do for the top? Oh, see, I have a cow print top right here, but I want the outfits to have a little bit more of a fantasy vibe. So what if we went with this? This is a beautiful corset that I downloaded. It came in a whole set of like different ones and this looks really pretty. I do need to find her some wings though. All of our Sims are gonna have wings, obviously. And I downloaded so many of them. So we have different types for all of them. Wait. This one is glitching, but in the most perfect way. The cow print is literally on her wings. I love a good glitch in your favor in the Sims 4 cast. Okay, I'm gonna combine this outfit with these tights. And then I think I wanna just give her maybe some boots, maybe some green ones, or if I have some with like a little bit of green, I'm gonna give her some nails, which I have these ones here with the flowers on them. And I'm gonna pull it all together with a necklace. Let's do this one with a green rose on it. Should I give her this full body green tattoo. It has like the flowers on the side giving like planty. I'm gonna do it. She is so freaking iconic. And for her aspiration, I think I have to give her the freelance botanist aspiration. She wants to grow more plants, aka an army of cow plants, and become an expert gardener. For her traits, we're gonna go evil. I think most of these will be evil. Maybe green fiend or like loves the outdoors. And I think for the cow plant, what if we also did glutton? Just to represent the cake that they use to lure their bait. I need a name. I need a name that starts with C. Cecilia Cowplant. There we go. Okay, we need to move on from the cowplant sim and I think next we should create a poison sim. Sims can die by poison in a few different ways. They can suffer death by poison in the temples of jungle adventure. They can eat a bad batch of pufferfish nigeri, rodent pets, but regardless, poison seems like a pretty rough way to go. <laughs> so I don't normally do this, but I think I'm gonna do my sims makeup before 
anything else. I have such elaborate makeup for this video. I have to give it credit here. A lot of it was from Evil Quinsel on The Sims 4 resource. So definitely check them out. So for our poison sim, we have this biohazard head detail. I have this green like poison stain eyeshadow. I'm going to change the glitching brows real quick. Maybe something like that looking a little evil here. And I have this evil like poison dripping lipstick. All of that came together too. So it's like a whole look, but I also want to make a twist for this sim. I downloaded this doll like face mask, which I am obsessed with. So what if our sim was supposed to be a happy, cheerful doll, but something went wrong at the factory and they've been labeled as a biohazard. Obviously our sim didn't take too well to that. And now they have found ways to wreak havoc on the rest of the world. So now that we've got the look, I'm going to just play around here with the face and we are going for evil doll here. I also have these doll eyes with the heart in them. She just looks like she is tracking her next target. You know who she kind of looks like? The blue girl from Marvel, like the blue robot girl. What's her name? Nebula. Okay, we're gonna now find her some hair. Oh, I have this one here with the braids. I don't like how they're clipping with her eyelashes and I wanna be able to see her head thing. Maybe we can use that in the future though. I have this really long obnoxious one, which again is gonna be glitching too much. We could maybe try this with the pigtails and I think I wanna give her a bow. Oh no, it's glitching with her hair. Oh my gosh, this one, this is it with the bows in the back. And now for her outfit. So I downloaded a creepy doll outfit. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. It's giving voodoo doll. There is no voodoo doll death in The Sims 4, but if there was, she could be the fairy of both. I also downloaded some tattoos that could work like this one. And I have this one here, which kind of makes it look like her skin, like something is wrong. I'm going to give her some boots. These ones are from Trillike. And I have these arm cuffs here, which could kind of give the idea like that she's got the doll mechanics, like where the joints are. We need to give her the wings. And there's a few different options options here. I like these ones with like the red on them. Then I need to change the color of her bow. I'm going to give her a necklace and I have the perfect name for her. We are going to name her Polly Poison, like Polly Pocket, but she's crazy. <laughs> her traits are going to be childish. We could do goofball and we're also going to do hot headed. I'm going to give her the jungle adventure aspiration, but I think I'm going to give this sim a quick second outfit just to match more of like the jungle adventure theme. So I'm also going to give her this shirt here, which kind of looks like it's stained a little bit. I'm going to combine that with some poison green cargo pants. She can honestly keep those wraps there to keep the doll idea. And I also downloaded this bow, which is so pretty. Since you can actually die by poison arrows, I feel like I have to give her this. Oh, the bow is not agreeing with the wings though. Oh wait, I found some that still worked. Or there's these ones, which also do, but it's kind of giving a poisony look. This is such a fun way to represent this type of death. So we have two different looks for poly poison here, which Honestly, I think I'm preferring this one. Okay, we're ready to move on. And next we are going to create a lightning fairy. If Sims are outside during a nasty thunderstorm, they can be struck down and electrocuted by lightning. I think we're gonna make a male Sim for this. I always have an issue making male Sims because I never have enough custom content for them. But in one of my last videos, I asked you guys to recommend different CC for males and you guys came through. So I think we're again gonna do the thing where we put the makeup on first. So so let's start off with the eyes and I have these ones here which have like stars in them. This is going to be a very like weather themed sim. I want to go with a thicker brow. I have this lightning eyeliner which we're going to wear and this lightning blush. So there's going to be lightning going all over his face, all over his body. Maybe just to keep with the evil look we can wear this lipstick and now I'm going to go in and change the face. So I'm going to play with the eye shape here, the nose shape. I'm going to maybe bring it down a little bit. We don't want any curls at the side of the mouth. We need to look evil. I also like to use these Kajiko lashes for my male sims. And what if we also gave him some fun ears? I've got these ones. These are from Symbionts. Should we do the facial hair? Maybe? I'm gonna leave it for now. And next for the hair. So I tried to download a bunch of new hairs as well. And I could see a few of these working here. I kind of want a spikier one or like a messier one. Like it's been struck by lightning. I do like this one though. I 
also downloaded a pair of lightning earrings, so we're gonna wear that. And I also have an entire lightning set of tattoos. So we've got those ones going down the arm. I also have a back one with like a lightning strike going down his back. And I think I'm also going to layer it with this one here, which again is just giving the cracks in the body. And I'm also going back and giving him the blue tint of hair. Next for the outfit, a lot of this is new, so we're gonna go through this together here. I want something with lightning on it, but like not in a corny way. <laughs> I don't know if that's even gonna be possible. Or even if I maybe have like a rain jacket. I feel like our lightning sim is gonna be kind of like a prankster. Like he might be a little erratic, unpredictable, impulsive. He could maybe be like one of the newer ones and he just doesn't really have control over his power yet. Maybe we go with one of these. Like I don't have any lightning pattern things, but these at least have the stripes. And I kind of like that you can see the weird like skin detail he has. Or what if we give him more of like a flashy style with these pants? Flashy style, like lightning, get it? Kind of joker brained a little bit. And what should we do for his wings? You can see him with something like this. Like he's gonna be up in the sky on a stormy night. Or there's also more of one like this, which could give off the electrocuted vibe. I think I wanna give him these, but like the baby version, cause he's new here. I changed his hair to white and this is going to be our lightning sim. We need a first name that starts with L. Lyle? Lyle Lightning? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kind of lame, but we're gonna go with it. And for his traits, going with the storyline, he is going to be erratic. He's gonna be gloomy because we get the cloud. <laughs> and we'll go with childish because he's still figuring it out. I think for his aspiration, we're gonna go with Chief of Mischief. And this is going to be our lightning sim. Next, we're going to move on to drowning. Now this one is fairly obvious, but it's not as easy to pull off as it was in previous Sims games. I don't know about you guys, but I was a 10 year old murderer just deleting the pool ladder left and right. But nowadays, if a sim is tired or uncomfortable while swimming, they can suffer a horrible fate by drowning. So we're gonna be going for an underwater look here, and I have a few skin details to hopefully pull that off. We've got this one, which actually has gills on it, and then we change her skin underneath to like a blue, maybe like a dark blue. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be giving Avatar. They did like an underwater movie recently, didn't they? Those gills are really accentuating those cheekbones. And for the eyes here, I have have some really creepy ones. I downloaded these specifically for our drowning sim. I wanted them to look like very not okay. <laughs> they're creepy, they're watery. I would not want to come face to face with those eyes underwater. And for some reason I want to give her white eyebrows. I'm trying to give her like a sad look. I'm also gonna give her the ears. And for her hair, I want her to have that wet underwater look. So I have this one, which I really like. I feel like it kind of has that vibe. And for her makeup, I have a few that could work here. I have this one, which has the scales. She does already have the gills though, and that kind of covers it up. So I also have this one here, which gives her like those drops on her face. I'm gonna give her some downturned lashes. And I think for her lips, I'm gonna give her that one. I'm gonna give her some dark shadow here, and she is looking so creepy. She has this very strange, almost hollow look to her. She's gonna be the oldest one. She's giving like veteran. She's done this before. In her cowgirl outfit, we have to change that. And I again need something that's gonna look wet. Like she's just got out of the water. Wait, I actually have this dress here with like beaded details that kind of look like they're dripping. So maybe I could get one with like the bluey drips. And I've also got this arm detail, which looks like scales. I have these really creepy nails that come all the way up to the top of the hand. It looks like she's reaching out to like grab you from the water. And I mean, we could honestly give her no shoes and just give her these like weird leg details. If I did give her shoes, it would probably be a boot like this, which does also look very cool. But no shoes just makes sense here. Oh no, what is glitching? What has to go? Oh, it's my leg things. I can't really give her the wings that I wanted, so I'm gonna have to settle with these ones, which like underwater, I feel like she wouldn't really have them anyway, unless they propel her, like that's how she could swim. That would be 
be interesting, actually. Actually, what if she had the double wings? I don't know how I did that, but I think it looks cool. We're gonna leave it. All right, last name, Drowning. What is a D name? Ooh, okay, apparently Daria means the sea. So this is gonna be Daria Drowning. I feel like she's gonna be the most evil. So she's getting the evil trait for sure. She's gonna be child of the ocean. But I picture her to be calm. Like she's not overreactive. She's very calculated, almost peaceful in an evil way. None of these are really calling my name. Maybe we'll go with perfectionist. She could get the beach life aspiration. I guess that'll work. So this is going to be Daria drowning. And I actually want to make her have a sister. So for her sister, we are going to make the freezing death. Basically, this happens when your Sims are left outside for too long without their cold weather outfits on. So these two are going to be related because freezing, like frozen water, they're going to kind of go hand in hand, except her skin is going to be like an icy white. I think I'm going to use the same skin details that I used for the cow plant sim like one of these ones but we're just going to tone it all the way down so that white is still going to be peeking through and then hopefully yeah we'll still get the details on the body she is also going to get some very creepy eyes I have these ones and she's also going to get the white brows I want this sim to look a little bit more innocent though so I kind of want to go for like a soft pretty yet deadly kind of look like the snow <laughs> for her makeup one of the lipsticks has like a white swatch but it has like a little bit of black there so it almost looks like it's frostbitten and I could also see maybe this working if it was light enough like I want her skin to look so cold that it's cracking oh there's also this one which maybe we could do in white giving that like cracked skin look and for her lashes one of these has a white swatch Ooh, what if we gave her these ones because they kind of look like they're stuck together like what happens when your eyelashes are frozen let's give her that I want her to have white hair something super frosty looking like this looks cool or there's also this one which is very pretty let me just see what we could do for the outfit I have these which I wanted to use today but I don't know if they're gonna work like she would realistically be wearing something warm I guess or she could be wearing something like this like giving Elsa but with a twist of it but I also have this one which I was considering giving to the water sim something about it just looks very icy to me I don't know what it is I also have these shoes which I used actually for Elsa in a previous video so I'm gonna give her those and then let's see what this looks like with the wings and we want frosty so like this could work this one could also work it kind of looks like glass or I also really like these ones I definitely want to give her these like this is her frosty hand it's gonna reach out and grab ya and I have this necklace which could look really pretty too I want to see what this would look like if I did go for the feathery look just because I know I have the matching wings and I think there's a matching headpiece yeah okay I don't know if this is giving frozen but it could be a very cool like alternative outfit maybe this one definitely gives a colder feeling though this can be her cold weather look <laughs> she learned from the last time that she um died and maybe to make her look slightly more scary I'm gonna give her some horns last name is gonna be freeze and apparently the name Lumi means snow so I'm gonna give her that that is a very cute name I'm straying from the F names I don't know I think that's cute and I feel like this sim has that unexpected kind of evil so I'm definitely giving her the evil trait but she She's gonna be a little gloomy as well. And maybe I'll give her loves the outdoors. This is kind of another weather related one. So I wonder if she and the lightning sim could possibly get along. And I think she should get an outdoor aspiration. Maybe she could just get like the outdoor enthusiast one. Moving on to the death flower sim. This is a cool one. So sims who have high flower arranging skills can craft the death flower arrangements. If they gift that to an elder sim, that sim will die by death flower. So I think I wanna make another male sim for this I feel like the death flower being a male sim will just be iconic so I don't know what kind of skin detail I should give this sim I'm really vibing with these weird elf ones and this is going to be another plant-based sim so I definitely have some weird plant things like this and I also have one with actual flowers on it which could be very cool all right let's play around with the face a little bit so I need to change the brows I want to go for a thicker brow I think and this sim is not going to be new this is also so, like the water fairy going to be a veteran this sim has been doing this for a very long time I'm loving using these like creepy eye details though and I think I kind of want to use the heart eyes again but like I'm gonna turn down the opacity so they're much darker and like there is this which I could see happening but then we lose the heart eyes I don't know which one I want to keep okay let me just see what would happen if I put on some hair and I don't know why but I'm picturing a longer hair on this sim like I was maybe thinking this one I do also have some 
some wings in mind. I have these massive ones like these. This is giving like, okay, without the outfit, <laughs> this is giving like leader of the pack. But now I need to find a death flower outfit. And I feel like that's going to be kind of hard. I do have this shirt, which has like maybe a floral pattern on it, possibly with some pants like these. Or there's this one here, which also has a bit of a floral pattern. He's almost getting like an old vampire aesthetic. I feel like this sim is going to be more classy, more reserved. He only targets elder sims. I played around a little bit more with the makeup and I think this is going to be our death flower sim. This one was a trickier one. I knew making a male sim would be harder, but okay. What is our name going to be? Death flower will be the last name and his name is going to be florist, which apparently is connected to flowers. <laughs> florist death flower. He's going to be romantic, obviously evil. And I think for him we'll go proper. He is also going to have the freelance botanist aspiration. And this is going to be our death flower sim. We have one more to go and that is going to be the fire fairy. This is probably one of my favorites in the sims 4. It's easy, reliable, I mean tragic and devastating. Sims can die by fire most commonly by using an oven with a poor cooking skill. So for this sim I want to go with like red skin, maybe something like this. And for the makeup I have this eyeshadow which I really like. We could combine that with some eyeliner. And for the eyes I found the best ones for this. Look at these. They literally have like little flames in them like she's looking at a fire. This sim like the lightning sim might be a little unpredictable, erratic, impulsive. I mean think of how many times your sims catch on fire like she's putting in work and I kind of want her to have that evil smile a little bit. For her lipstick I think we have to go red. Ooh, or there's that but we're trying to go bold so I'm gonna go with this. We're obviously gonna go for like a red or an orange for her hair. What about one of these for her? She looks a little bit like the Joker or we try something like that. She is for sure getting horns. Maybe like these. Whoa what if I gave her that skin detail and for some reason I want to give her those full body tattoo. And now for our fire outfit. I have like these classically evil looking ones, but I've used them a few times. I'm kind of sick of them. What about that? It kind of looks like it has flames a little bit there. It also comes in black, but I feel like I have to give her the red. Oh, and you know what? She's getting the chunky boots. She is getting these. She's giving it scary devil. These are the boots that I used in the Monster High video. They're perfect. She's also going to get the weird jeweled hand, except in red, like kind of like a flame and I think I'm gonna give her a necklace just to pull it all together there. For her wings we could definitely give her these or she could have these ones. I like the red on them but I think I have to give her the big demon looking wings. I found the name Nuri which I think is so pretty. So I'm gonna name her Nuri and let's see for our traits. She's gonna be hot-headed, maybe self-assured and she's gotta be evil. I feel like I need to give her like public enemy. I feel like for the sims fire is public enemy number one. So this has been us creating death fairies in The Sims 4 or Sims to represent different types of death. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween inspired cast video and if you did make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.